Hello guys, it's September 1st, 2017. It's a really sunny, clear day, as you can see. Um, so the potatoes are still here. Um, they're getting very big. And then you can kind of see the pot kind of de deforming. So there must be a lot of growth in the soil. Let's take a look. So I pull up one of the pot and can't really see any potatoes from out here. So I'm assuming most of them are in the soil. So I'm going to move this back to where it is. It's a little messy. Just going to bundle them up and then hook them onto the little hook thing and yeah and I broke the other two handles so that sucks and then the wildflowers are coming up those are probably plain core opsis and then lots of crimson clovers right here and then the California poppy I've been trying to um, provide as much sunlight for the California poppy and then the artichoke it's doing well. The um, ficus tree is doing well too. Lots of growth. The Venus flytrap, I'm not so sure what's going on. As you can see, the leaves are not so green, a little discolored, and some of the leaves are dying. So I'm not too sure what's going on. It could be the season it's over or something. And then these two are doing well too. Right here we have the catnips, it's doing well, still growing, still flowering. Right here you can see a lot of new flowers coming up. Not not like huge flower groups, but like smaller groups. And then the artichoke is doing well too, it's really taking off. You can see how big the leaf is. Raspberry. Actually, no, hold on. Um, Lily and then the peony. I put them over here. The raspberries are doing well. Um, you can see right here there's a strawberry, bunch of strawberry, uh, I mean raspberries on this bench. And then right here, yeah, you can see a lot of them. It's pretty heavy too. Going to harvest them later. There's a lot more over here. You can see some flowers. And then this one is, oops. And then here's a bunch more. There's a wasp. That one. A lot of raspberries too. And you can kind of see the whiteness on the berry. That's sunburn. Blueberries are doing well, um, just new growth. It's really hot today, so that's why it's kind of wilting. Kale lilies, as you can see, it's kind of actually spreading out. The leaves are spreading out, so I'm thinking it could be dying back. So it could be the end of the season for the kale lilies. Strawberries, still fruiting, but I don't really see any new flowers anymore. So that could be it for the strawberries this year. And then the clovers. Hopefully the spider mites has gone, but I'm just going to let it stay in there for a little while. Lacy Facilia, lots of new flowers. And then lots of pollinators around it. Here's an uh, African honeybee. You can see. I saw a few bumblebee a few days ago, but I didn't see them today. And then the straw flowers are actually really pretty. You can see we have a few different colors over here. So right here we have the kind of the yellow orange ish straw flower. Kind of like the dahlia, 
the color of the dahlia we have. And then right here we have the white with like a little magenta um, edge, kind of. And then right here we have the magenta, more of an intense magenta flowers. Yeah, those are the straw flowers. Pretty nice. Blueberry, still growing. Asparagus, I don't really see any new growth anymore. So I think that could be it for the asparagus as well. The hydrangea is still growing. Um, this one is doing very well. And you can see this beautiful flower. I like the really faint pink it's very nice and then this bigger hydrangea plant is still growing and flowering and here we have the lavender you can see it's still growing getting taller and then the rosemary is still growing too it's getting wider mostly a little taller too and then the vines are doing well. The morning glory is still going crazy. And then you can see over there, a little bit of cypress vine is taking over too. You can see how, um, how much of the growth we have got here. Uh, the cypress vine is doing very well, as you can see. Hopefully we'll see some flowers and get some hummingbirds. And, oh. Right here you can see the uh, actual side growth, new growth of the, from the morning glory, right there, you can see from here, interesting. And then the dahlia, um, I cut the other two flowers off for indoor decoration, and you can see some new flowers coming up too, so they would, I would cut them for indoor too. And here's an interesting insect hiding underneath a leaf. More dahlia flowers. And here we have some dahlia flowers too. This is from the smaller dahlia plant. And then the rhubarb, pretty much the same. I kind of harvested some of the, um, the seeds and I put them over here to dry. Here are the rhubarb seeds. And then as for the indoor garden, there's not really much to talk about. The pine tree looks fine. This orchid looks fine. Lots of new growth for the string of pearls. This orchid is doing well. And then I put this orchid out here for it to get some sun. Um, yeah, orchid, peacock plants, orchid, more orchid. Hoya plants, orchid, peacock plants, another orchid. They're all doing well. And then the succulents, this one is doing well. And then here we can see the snake plant. Yeah, it's coming up, the new growth. So this one is successful. Succulents, spider plants, fern, more fern, 